Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. How y'all doing tonight? It's me, John and Mama, here on Coffee Time with John and Mama. If you aren't following us, go over to our Facebook page. Check us out, like us, follow us, share us. Let's get started with some supper. We're doing something totally different tonight. We're we're going way south tonight. We're headed down to Mexico. We are making the first time I've ever made these, so we're going to learn a little bit together, probably. I'm going to make some Crunch Wrap Supreme. It's one of my favorite things at the Taco Bell. I didn't look up like a cheat or anything on it. I just think I know what it is. Maybe that's a mistake. <laughs> you better look up. <laughs> Mama, you're supposed to say, you can do it, you can do it. You can do it, but you're not going to look up. <laughs> so what am I going to do? How am I going to do? Well, here's what I'm going to do. These are Extreme Wellness High Fiber Carb Lean Keto Friendly. Man, these are important. <laughs> Tortillas. So... I guess that means they're extremely wellness, extreme wellness. Now, what I've done here on the hot plate, over here on Mama's hot plate, I've got a hot skillet, and I have, we have already, I'm just going to lay that right in there, let it start its magic. This over here is just some ground chuck. Mama's browned up here. Got it ready to go. Mama, how's it looking? It's not hardly done enough. Okay. Got a little cook some more. So Mama's going to finish that up. And I've got this little jewel right here. And I'm just gets on here. This is on. And that won't it's not really it's go, it's warming up, but it's gonna come, start coming through. Now in that meat, I seasoned it up. It has taco seasoning, your favorite kind. I just use the bulk taco seasoning. And uh, I didn't even put salt and pepper in it yet, but that's all it's gonna be. Taco seasoning, salt and pepper. Mama, you want salt and pepper? I'll let you look at it in your hand or go on already. You want to go ahead and season this up because it's going to be your last chance before it goes to work. No, wait. That's a blow one. Let me have it yes, too high up. Yes, ma'am. While go. she's doing that, I'm going to be over here. Let me see if I can get you in there, Mama. Oh, I'll have to watch you cook. Oh. I'm going to be over here cutting up a tomato. Here you go, sir. I had to hold that spoon in front of it. Was a blowing your pepper away. I'm gonna cut up a tomato and I'm gonna get some lettuce. Mama promised me some lettuce. Oh, sometime. sometimes. Sometimes. Spinach. spinach will be alright. I can do a spinach or a package of uh, spring mix. Whatever we ate last night will be fine. Oh, Mama, this tomato's got some sprouts in it. What in the world? Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe you should get a. It's perfect on the outside. Yeah, it was beautiful. What in the world? What's this nonsense? Too much rain, maybe? I don't know. That might come from the farmer's market. I don't know. This came from the farmer's market. This is not a mama tomato. Okay. Might ought to let that cook. I seen a little pink while ago. I'm not seeing it now, but it probably needs to. Cook that. away. We got time, Mama. It's a boy. Do you all get, what's your favorite thing at the Taco Bell or any Mexican? But I just like these Crunchwrap Supremes. Um, I guess there's a Crunchwrap and a Crunchwrap Supreme. So ours might just be Crunchwrap. I'm not sure. What makes it Supreme? Ours will be Super Supreme because I've got some more stuff here. So I bought this a while back this is just Senor Verde this comes from our store it saved a lot it's just taco sauce I like it folks this right here is delicious I do make homemade guacamole I, I do know how I've made it on here before I'm going to put the lid on this this is market side from the big store and the big store is the Walmart you know that uh, I like this and it's quick it's easy and it's it doesn't cost as much as making it homemade so it's a quick, easy fix. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about because you probably have had it and you think, yeah, I like that. Some of you are like, why is he buying guacamole? He should be making it. Well, he ain't got time today. Market side. Market side, they do carry some good products with the market side. That's just a product review. We certainly are not sponsored by Walmart. Walmart? If you're listening and you would like to sponsor me and Mama, 
We'll quit calling you the big store. Okay, let's check on this little puppy. He's not brown yet, but he is starting to crest up a little bit. Now this doesn't get quite as hot because this skillet is so much bigger than the burner. It certainly doesn't get as hot. Mama browned this over on the big stove to get it good and brown. Mama, are you going to pronounce that meat done to eat? I don't see it now, do you? I didn't uh, see it before. Well, I think it was... You like raw meat. I don't want raw I don't hamburger. want a raw hamburger. No, I don't do raw hamburger. I bought these at the Food City. These are tostados. And these are... Gluten-free. Right here they are. And... Um, this is going to be our crunch of our crunch wrap. Now, folks, I may be fooling myself, but I really think these are just this simple. I really do. So we're going to find out. I'm going to get some cheese and um, ready. I'm going to put my meat in there. I can get the cheese, Mama. Just let me open this. Rubber band bag here. Oh, wow. I probably should open this before I started. I didn't know the hardest part was going to be to get into these little puppies. So, what I'm going to do while this is still warming, still heating, I'm just going to scoop me up a yes. little bit of this hamburger meat. Yes, put it right here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, just going to scoop me up some hamburger meat. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I'm building the crunch wrap supreme. Now I could have get the uh, sandwich maker, panini maker back out that somebody got for us. Thank you so much. We do use that little puppy. Oh, it's wonderful. Uh, it makes wonderful grilled cheeses, but it's square. This is round. I don't know how that might work. So that's going to be the base for our meat. Can you put a round peg in a square hole? I know you can't. Thank you, put, can, Mama. I, can, I know you can't put a square peg in a round hole. <laughs> can you do it opposite? I think you can. <laughs> Depends on the size of the hole. So that is our cheese. This is just Mexican blend. This is Mexican four cheese piece, cheese. Uh, fresh right out of that bag. Now I'm gonna take one of these little things. Tostadas. Here we go. These are corn tostadas. I think this is what you get in the crunch wrap. Y'all correct me if I'm wrong. That is it right there. And I'm going to put, I'm gonna put a little bit of sour cream. I like sour I was debating. Could y'all hear the, my gears turning? I'm gonna put a little bit of the sour cream right here on this layer. I kind of think of this as the glue that's going to hold my tostado in place. There you go. Oh, Mama, look at this mess you let me make and didn't even yell or nothing. I got your rag. That was just yeah, a nice you did. thick thing. So I'm going to put that right on top of there. You see where we're going with that? Let's pull you all over here. So this is just the flour tortilla, the meat, the cheese, a little bit of sour cream, the toast. Then to that I'm going to add a little bit more of our sour cream. Is that going to glue the tomatoes? I'm gluing stuff on <laughs> That's what I thought. This is my spackle. You can't beat sour cream for a spackle. Kind of looks like it too, don't it? Kind of does. Now this is the supreme part, I guess. Gets a little guac. Oh my. Now, Mama, you may not like these. I'm, I'm hoping you will. I'm I won't put guac on yours. How's I'll that just say? eat a bite of yours first and see what I like. Because I'm not. You're big, not what, Mama? Big on guacamole. Well, we won't put this on yours. Well, I see it had crunchy. See, I'm making mine first, and then I'll make yours gonna be popping hot. I'm thinking ahead, Mama. Now, this is just the mix. This is not what 
this is super supreme because you don't get spinach and all this at the store store now here comes the fun part here's the part I've not practiced don't know nothing don't know any secrets or any of that I'm just going to fold him up he's got stiff on you yeah just going to fold him right up here his mama just said he's get he's got a little stiff it's baked or cooked and I may have overfilled him just a little bit I think so first time folks we'll see how this works well it ain't gonna work too good because I've got don't have enough, you know, that filler's near this bowl. No, they don't. I've got a little patch at the top. It's okay, never fear. I have a patch right here. I can get just a small one put on it. Hey, Mama. I won't trouble you with that because I'm just going to patch it right there. Patch? How you do? You've been working on the roads before. Right? <laughs> little patch here, a little patch there. If you do it like they do it, you probably don't need a patch. A patch. There, now that's going to brown right up. I don't know how long it'll take it in this skillet on this little thing here. You, beat you it. might have to take it to the big stove and get a little burn on it. A little brown. A little brown. And because I've seen that and stiffened up, I'm going to make mama's a little different. Because. I I want all of it. Jimmy, that piece of I'm going to fix it. Huh? Mama, you cracked me up. You want to hand me another cutting board so I don't have to, so I have something to lay this on flat? Right there. Thank you, ma'am. I'm going to do hers different. Maybe this is what I'll do them from now on and not put them on the stove, on the burner until. I'm ready to cook them because it was a little harder. You can turn that off now, Mama. Your meat's it's done. Oh, yeah. Have y'all already made these? You got any suggestions? Can I see your suggestions? You need refried beans. I thought about that. Mama says there's even some in there. Probably I do need them, but that went. I, I debated on it and I thought, I don't think I want free fried beans on it. Um, might be better though. We may try one with free fried beans and see what we like different. What do you think, Mama? I'm going to make your smile smaller. Mama says, just, you know, you come up with these concoctions and I really ain't interested. Now here's, this is one of those things. Mama does like Mexican food. Uh, this is one of those things that Mama very well could just love. Some, some of the Mexican It's one of those things she could very well just love and say, you can make those again. Y'all know Mama don't even pretend. You know, she ain't here to save nobody's feelings. So if she don't like it, she'll flat out say, no, you can have that, but I, I ain't, that ain't for me. She's shaking her head. Come on over here, Mama. That's right. Mama, this is yours. We was never, growing up, we never was made to eat nothing we didn't like. We tasted of it, and that's the same way I did you. Taste of it, and if you don't like it, spit that part out and don't have to eat it. So tell me, does, does the ones I get at the Taco Bell have refried beans on it? Somebody tell me. Uh, mix refried beans with your meat. Oh. That's a deal. That would be a good deal. Okay. Mama, this is yours. No so lettuce. I'm going to do no lettuce. I'm going to do a few of these tomatoes. Is that all right with you? Yeah, a few tomatoes. No lettuce. No green stuff. Yes, ma'am. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Mm hmm. She has that little mm hmm. Now let's try this one and see if I do any better since it's softer. And mamas don't have green stuff or nothing else. Here we go. Let's try it. Mm. 
Mama, I think, I think it's just, it just has to have a patch. Mama's throwing knives. I tell you, when she means it, she means it. Folks, if y'all can fix these without a patch, let me know. I didn't try one before we came on, as you know. Like I said, I, I looked at them. I've had them. I thought, I can handle that, maybe. Mama, yours looks perfect. Got a little bit on my hand. See, it does have that little patch, though. But it is easier to work with. So next time, I will do these without put. I just thought I'd throw it in the skillet, wrap it up, and it'd be fine. But I didn't realize it was going to get a little tougher. Mama, here's your little, little one. I'm turning everything off over here. Here's your little one. Mama, you had one job today. On the bottom, it's real brown. Let's see. I was getting a plate. No, that's not too brown, Mom. That's just perfect. I'll show y'all in a minute. Mama thinks it's too brown, but really, it's not. I'm going to turn it over because it'd be prettier. Now, look, this one got a little hard. Don't put it in your skillet first. That, that's, that's not going to be the thing. But I'm going to turn it over where it is prettier just because I want to look at it prettier. Now, look, Mama did that just perfect. Look at that. That's perfect. Mama, you really, that is just right. Perfection. I'm going to clean a minute. And then I'm going to talk to y'all a minute. And we should be ready to eat in about two minutes. Two minutes. Mama's trying new things. She really is. And I'm proud of her. Proud, proud, proud. I gotta move some stuff. Something's gotta go. Don't, uh oh, -uh, mama. No, well, I'm just scooting it over. That's hot. Now I don't care where I'm touching, but. Alright, that's good, right there. Okay. Woo, mama. Slide it in Yours looks good, too. Look how she did hers. Hers turned out a little better, I do believe, all the way around because it was softer and I didn't put it on there to start with. Slide it on over, mama. You're gonna get, um, you got forks. Oh, you're going, you're going to get a knife, too. I'm going to doctor mine up even a little bit more. I saw you slinging knives, Mama. I thought, I ain't saying a word. Whew, she ain't thrown knives in like two weeks. She didn't hear that. Good. Did you hear what I said? I hadn't thrown knives in two weeks. Well, you know, I figured you hadn't heard that or you'd have got a comment. Oh. Are you tired of commenting on my silliness? I'm trying to think, and it's hard to think. <laughs> it's hard to think. Because they say you get a COVID fog when you have it. Do you have COVID, Mama? No, afterwards you get COVID fog. Mama, you ain't had COVID in months. I don't think you're still fogging from it. Well, be quiet. I'm trying to blank this. <laughs> messed up mine and mine on something besides Well, me. let's don't go with COVID. Let's go with it's Friday and I'm overworked. Yeah, I am awful hard today. Mama has been, let me tell you, this woman today, she left early, early, and she's been going all day long to the big store, to the little store, to the Dollar Tree. Mama, what else you get at the Dollar Tree? Anything good? Just my Two little home decorations. She's got two little decorations. She's pleased. Uh, you're supposed to, let tell me what to do. You're supposed to pick them up and eat Get them up. by hand, John. Jennifer. Jennifer. Not patchwork. <laughs> I'm afraid. It's, yeah, I know. I don't do mine by hand, even when I get them at the Taco Bell. Uh, I want to eat them. I know, it's crazy. Taco be. sauce, Mama. Oh, uh, no. There's another spoon lid up for it. Yes, ma'am. I would have that from top of my head to my toes if I tried Yeah, to that's what that. I, I usually end up getting it on my shirt if I try to do the pickup thing. That's good. 
Now, folks, I'm going to tell you. When I eat that ear of corn, I felt like I took a bath in it. I hadn't. I know, Mommy, you embarrassed me in front of all my friends. I know what I was embarrassing. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> folks, that looks just like downtown to me. We're going to taste it, and I'm going to tell you. But right there, it looks like downtown. I mean, look at that. Some of y'all says you had trouble. Ooh, sorry. Now they have to go get hearing aids. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some of y'all said you had trouble with comments. Just swipe them over to the right if they're in your way. Um, there's your towel, Mama. Thank you. Swipe them to the right if they're in your way. Let's bless this wonderful meal. Quick, quick, quick meal. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this meal. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies with it, dear Lord. We just pray that you'll be with us, watch over, lead, gun, direct us, Lord, and be with all those that are facing sicknesses and illnesses. Be with each and every prayer request that's out there, Lord, both spoken and unspoken. And dear Lord, we just pray that you'll be with all those people who have had weather problems and situations all throughout this country and our friends in Kentucky as well, dear Lord. Watch over, lead, gun, direct us in your will and your glory. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, Mama. It's time. It's time. It's time to tell the tale. Now you'll never get yours cut. It's so hard. I like it hard. It's like a chip. But don't put it in the skillet. Oh. Leave that part out. Look at Mama's. Yeah, mine will cut. Let me click yours. Oh, I'm jealous. Mama, you want to switch? No. We'll leave it like it is. I can handle hard this time, but next time I won't put it in the skillet a hip time. You know, it would just look like, I'll just lay that right there in that skillet, put that meat on there, and there'll be no problem. Well, it got a little harder. It got hard instead of brown. Right, it just It did. wasn't hot enough. It just but I can handle the hard. Do I want to see a bite? The napkin just flew in the floor. Yes, ma'am, it did. I thought I seen something move. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you. Just one more time. <laughs> With that real 100% ground beef. It was extra lean ground chuck. You With that melted that. cheese. Oh, wow. That market side guacamole. And all those other combinations. This is the best one I've ever had. Better than Taco Bell. Better than Taco Bell's. Even though my my wrap's a little tight, uh, a little hard, but it's still <laughs> crunchy. It's good. It's still good. But those flavors are awesome together. What do you think, Mama? Oh, it's good. Do you like it? Yeah. Can you say that again, Mama? It was, it's a good flavor. It's good, she said. We're going to ever have them again, Mama? I don't know. I just wrap it in this. That wouldn't fit up. Well, the crunch wrap is that the... Uh, crunch in the middle. Yeah, the tostada in the middle. I like that part. The reason I don't yeah. mind this outside being a little crunchy on mine, because I like a little crunch, so I had no problem with it. Mmm. I'm gonna be having them again. Mama will too. I can tell, because she's diving right into it. <laughs> what do you think about it? It's good. It's different for a change. You would eat it again? Yeah, I like it crunching. Do you think they should try to make it? Why, yeah. Would you tell them to make it? Yeah, I'd tell anybody to make it. <laughs> it's good. If you didn't like it, you wouldn't know it, your mama. No. Well, I'd tell them they like stuff like that. They I was all here, mama, the night that I made that uh, crab casserole. No, I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> That was all here. They seen you say, no. Mama, take one look. No. Not having it, was you? No. But now this is good. Not eating what I don't want to try. This is good. 
Folks, if you like the Crunchwrap Supreme at the Taco Bell, if you make your own at home, you've seen how this is my first one. So, you've seen how quick and easy it is. Try it. Your kids will love it. If they like that one, they'll love this one because this one's made with all real meat. And it's got that guacamole in it. You can make your own homemade guacamole. Um, you can put some jalapenos in this. You could put the refried beans in it. There's all kinds of stuff you could do. Mm-mm-mm. I'm going to say two thumbs up on the way. It's a separate for me. Yeah. It is good. It is good. Mama even likes that. Mm -hmm. You all can tell in her tone. I when like I was... it better than I do just uh, the way your cousins fix that taco salad and mix it all up. I like it this way. I don't know. remember that, Mama. You know, they put the chips and lettuce and... Oh. oh, in a bowl, you know, fix Oh, it. yeah, I know what you're talking I about, I didn't Mama. care for it as well as I do this. Uh, Mama, Mama likes it pretty good, folks. Uh, the screen just went a little dark. I don't know what that means. Are y'all seeing the same thing, or are y'all seeing clear? Can you show us the name of the tortillas again? Yes. I, I didn't yes, I can't. I can't. <laughs> These came from our, our food city in our southern part of our county. They are extreme wellness, high fiber, carb lean, six large wraps, keto friendly. What's the name brand of them? I, oh, the O-L-E, O-L-E, and they're extreme wellness, O-L-E, O-L-E, 100% that may be backwards for y'all. Some of y'all asked me the other day, could I flip it? Yes, I can. Am I going to? No, I'm not. Because <laughs> we flipped it a couple of times and I had more comments on that than I had anything else. John, flip it back. You and Mama are on the wrong place. The kitchen don't look the same. We don't like it. They, a large majority of people did not like it when we flipped. I could flip back and forth, but I ain't going to. These are just those right there. Your euros and these are tostadas, caseras, amarillas. I don't know. You That's didn't you took Spanish in school. I didn't? took it, yes. <laughs> I took Spanish in college too. <laughs> Mama don't want prayers from my friends. I took algebra and trigonometry too, but I don't use that either. I have never. Have y'all ever used algebra? Some of y'all have. Mathematical problems you have to have. Yeah. I've never used A equals B. X equals, X equals y. nothing. Nobody's ever walked up to you in the street and said, What's X equal? Have you, Mama? No, but I've done a lot of it. I know. But nobody's ever asked me about it. Nobody's ever said, John, what's X equal? I don't know. Um, I missed the whole recipe. Please, <laughs> quick recap. Okay, Pam, quick recap because you know why? It is quick. It's super quick. So I took one of these that I just showed you. It's just a soft flour tortilla. Now I messed mine up a little bit. I mean, it depends on you. If you want crunch. Oh, we got light again, Mama. Did you see that? What's happened? I don't know. Let's go with it, though. We're still on. Light, dark, light, uh, dark. It's I put mine in the skillet at first. And I shouldn't. I mean, it's okay. It's crunchy. Let me show you. And I don't want to mislead you. Some of y'all might say, hey, I like it crunchy. It looks fine, and it is fine, but it is just a little crunchier. You know, it's just Hard not. Hard to fold, though. It's still chewable. Mama's is still good and soft. And that's one reason I usually do my stuff first when we're experimenting just to see, because I know what Mama will and will not eat. <laughs> And uh, but I, don't put it in the skillet. Just lay it out. Put your fresh ground hamburger meat that's been brown. I didn't put onion or anything in this because Mama don't really like a lot of onion. You took Just the taco seasoning in it though. Yeah, I mean I did put taco seasoning, but I didn't put any chopping onion up. 
That's all I put salt, pepper, and your favorite taco seasoning. Browned it good, Mama browned it. And I just put a little pile of it, a little circle of it in that tortilla shell. I laid one of these on top of it, on top of the meat and cheese and sour cream. Meat, cheese, sour cream. Laid one of these flat on top of that. Put a little sour cream on top of this. And I put a little guac on mine. And then I put lettuce. I put this mix here, spinach. This is what Mama washed up for me. Spinach and this is just spring mix. Yeah. And tomato. And then I done a halfway decent job at wrapping it but I did have to patch it because I don't think mine is as thin as theirs but the patch didn't hurt a thing did it mama? No, you don't know so I did have to put a, an extra little tortilla on there but that was super super simple and mama just browned it and turned it and browned it and we're eating it I mean this was quick this was easy let me show you what I can here Okay, so in here, in here is the goodies. And look, that's that meat. There's that, see up there on top, that corn shell. And then this layer. It's just like, I mean, it's just like downtown. Ain't it, Mama? Yeah. Mama's eating hers. Now that's, Mama's showing me yours. I feed on mine, yeah. She's eating it. Slowly but surely. Now for Mama to eat it, that means she likes it. Yeah, Mama don't eat nothing she don't like. Mama don't do nothing she don't want to do either. <laughs> Some of y'all think, let Mama do this, Johnny. Don't do not do that, John. Tell Mama, mm -mm. I've got too old to change my ways. I don't try to change Mama, except to keep her safe. Y'all know what this is? This is that green onion dressing that we made last night. Now I'm gonna tell y'all, when you make this, come on. Yeah, you want some on yours? Mm -mm. It's green onion. I'm gonna put just a drop or two on mine. You can tell it's the flavors all blended better today. Yes. It white better. When you make this, you may think, Mm, it's a little bland. Sorry, I'm not going to use that finger again. <laughs> <laughs> you may think it needs a little something or it's just a little bland. Give it about eight hours. But now if you'll notice, last night when we first made it, I told Justin it tastes even better. With every passing few minutes, it gets better and better during the moment. Mm -hmm. Now right now, it's perfect. Right now, it's just like you would want it to be to serve to your guests. So I would say make it the day before, for sure. Well, we didn't have all the ingredients. Or you no. Have. No, we didn't have all the ingredients, and I wanted to show you all whenever I made it, so it worked out fine. Mm, it's delicious. There's a topping on here, too. You don't want none? You pushed your luck with new things tonight. Yeah. Now you loved this last night on that salad. It was good on the salad. And the second scoop you put on mine, after it sat a little bit longer, was even better, wasn't like, it? Yeah, it was better than the, the flavors I, had. You got more of a when you bit into the onion, the onion and the spice, but it blended better on the. It's blended to perfection right now, folks. We're going to say try this. Give it a whirl. You will like it. Now, if you don't like Mexican, you don't like anything like that, you might not. I'm setting my ways on Mexican. I usually eat the same, <laughs> the same thing. Loco Polo, cheese and rice. Fried, refried beans. Fried, refried beans. A little bit of salad. Sour cream. Sour cream. And you like taco sauce. Mm -hmm. No guacamole. No guacamole. Don't even put it on my plate, she'll say. Don't care for that, do you, Mama? Mm -mm. Folks, what are you all eating tonight? What are you doing Friday night? I'm drinking coffee till about 10 o'clock. 
But no shame in my game. I'm tickled about it. If I don't sleep, I'll just get up and do something. I don't have to get up early. I will get up early. Even if I don't sleep good, I'll get up. Y'all may set the broom and just pan out just in case you <laughs> don't sleep good. <laughs> well, Mama. <laughs> well, I was just asking. Or the dust rag. And... I was thinking if I couldn't sleep, I could always read a book. Oh, oh. I could oh, study oh. my Sunday school lesson. Well. I could. Hmm? I thought you was going to work. I was going to get my. No, I didn't say nothing about working. In the middle of the it, night. Make it handy for you. Mama, the whole point of doing something like that is to get sleepy to go to sleep, not to get up and get all revved up. Although I have before. I have had those sleepless nights, not for any reason, just because I overslept, over coffee or whatever. 3.30 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. That's it. Let's go. Get up. Get started. I'll get up. Get ready. Just start my day at 3.30 because there ain't no sense just laying there. I can lay there and rest and think about stuff and fall back to sleep. Sometimes I can, but if I lay there 30 minutes, I'm done. I ain't laying there no longer. Um, I'll get up and read or something. Try not to turn on too many lights to read. And um, then I'll try to go back to sleep. And if I can't, declare it done and get on up. I've been out on the porch at 3.30 before drinking coffee. Starting my morning. Taco soup tonight. Oh, Patty, that's good. You're on the same wavelength we are. Taco soup for us too, Elizabeth. That sounds great. Friday night, I watched the craft site, the shabby tree. Oh, yeah. Sh uh, Shirley Mama watches that. And tonight's, um, Barb does, um, what does she, she call it? On the porch. Uh -huh. <sighs> Uh, fr uh, Friday night hangout. Yeah, Friday hangout. Is that hangout? So. I think so. Yeah. yeah, Mama watches her all the time too. I look for the pumpkins for her pumpkin thing, but I could. Which one? She done a thousand pumpkins. That three set. Mmm. You wasn't looking on her site. You was looking at the store today. To buy some to make. <laughs> <laughs> So, they didn't have them? No. Now, I think the one she goes to, y'all correct me, isn't hers a $5 or maybe, I mean, what's it called, um, plus? She gets stuff more expensive. They didn't have them where I went. Is yours a plus? No, it just says Dollar Tree. Dollar 25 Yeah. Well, they've got three and five dollars stuff there and stuff. Well, then it has to be a plus. But they didn't have the pumpkins like she had. Oh. Well, maybe they'll get them. Or maybe somebody didn't got them. My have. She got those. When did she? She got those a long time ago. A week ago. Yeah. It might be a plus, but they, uh, they just didn't have them pumpkins. I don't know if y'all... Um, Watch Kimmy, Kimmy's cooking on hers. Um, um, said a little prayer for her. I didn't know her mama had passed away. I just found out the other day I felt awful. Um, so I wrote her and told her, and she said, you know, that she was, I think she's done another video. So support her, give her some love, show her some hearts. Um, and um, I'm going to watch it because I'm excited to see what she did. It's hard when something like that happens to get back in to the regular routine and um, you know how that goes folks bad times hello John and Mama I had pizza casserole oh and salad tonight Mary make you some uh, green onion dressing with your salad make it yesterday though <laughs> <laughs> make it tonight for your salad tomorrow how's that sound I want a Dollar Tree Plus so bad uh, Jolene are they a big Are they baby? all going to be that? Or are they just slowly transitioning into it? Or are we going to have both? Because I ain't figured it out yet. Because some people say, oh, we got the... I don't know. They call it Plus Mama. I think so. But it doesn't have it on the sign at ours. It's still at the old sign. But they do have the different prices. I think they're all going to be... 
pluses. I tell you what they announced in our city news. We're getting a family dollar. We got a family dollar. But we're getting a new family dollar that's half family dollar, half dollar tree. You all have seen those, I'm sure. No, I have not seen one yet. Well, it's just one store and half is a tree and half is a family dollar. And um, you'll be able to get both. So you'll have one right here in town. That'll be the end. If a, if, if a family dollar, if a Dollar Tree comes to this town, <laughs> you just won't see Mama. She'll be crafting and carrying on. Mama, you ought to come out here and craft with them sometime. I'm not neat enough. It's all about having fun, enjoying yourself, and being creative. Mm -hmm. There ain't nobody judging you. I'm my worst judge. You're my worst judge too, but it don't keep me from, <laughs> <laughs> don't keep me from doing stuff. <laughs> Mama, I'm proud of you. You've ate almost half of that. I know it. I've done good. Folks, I'm going to recommend this one. That is just right for a meal. Yeah. And that one crunch in there does give it a different texture. Yeah, it's got that hmm to it. I like it. It's, it's, it's different than a burrito is what you're saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I love the guac. The, the market... Side is good products. I've not found any. I like their salsa. I like their guac. I like their salads. I like their sandwiches. Yeah, didn't you tell them I got you the wrong salsa today? <laughs> you didn't get the wrong. You got um, Verde. There is no wrong, Mama. It's just different. You got the green salsa. I love it. There's nothing wrong with it. You Hi, John and Mama <laughs> from Illinois. Hi, um, Don Pruitt. How are you? Hi, Judy K. Thanks for jumping on. Hey, Nancy. Um, yes, Mama, we like to see crafts. Mama, Nancy wants to see some crafts. I'm not a crafter. We've been saving, uh, we've been saving burnout light bulbs for five years. I can't do those, though, because you have to do those. You'll have to craft that. Mama, I've never done them either. You're the one that said you've seen where they made snowmen out of. But you got to paint faces on them and stuff. Oh, I can paint your faces. But you'll have to do all the glue and then all the stuff. And then the other ones, the teardrop ones, ones, you can make Santa Claus heads out of them and put a little ball on the top, turn them up, hang them on your tree. And the tip of them looks like his beard. beard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've seen them, but I've never made them. And Mama could crochet some little hats to put on them. Oh, no. <laughs> I even looked at some crochet thread today. I'm about to. He didn't have no Christmas put out yet, though. <clears throat> Mama, I think. You know, I was talking last night about how everything's different. We've not done anything traditional this year, oh, like it's awful. what we're cooking. Mm -hmm. But as I think back, we did. We started at Christmas last year. We kept the. First of all, you kept your trees up to about the eighth or ninth of the year which is not like you. Well, I took Kobe right along then, too. Another thing, you did not, that I know of, stitch one crocheted stitch last year. No. I quit in the fall and stuff. I've lot, I started some of that Christmas with some yarn, didn't have enough, and I've not found none since. So. And this is someone who has made the whole family those little white snowflakes. She's made everybody an afternoon. Not everybody. A lot of nieces and nephews. Well, 20 or 30, I don't know. <laughs> but then she went to just, she didn't even do one stitch. But she was, that was part of your health problems. And, and I've got in a, a rut of not doing nothing at least. You've not done any crafting, Mama? Not that. Bad shape. <laughs> it's called laziness. See, I bet they didn't even know. Did they know that you do crafts sometimes? No, I don't 
craft much. No, I used to do stuff, but not no more. All right, folks. We bored you all out of your minds because we're just sitting here eating. We have a Dollar Tree Plus now. Oh, good, Cheryl. There is three within ten minutes of... Oh, wow, Cheryl. That would be the end of the moment, three of them. Oh. Mama said they didn't have it. I'm going to run to the other one. I wouldn't keep my clothes clean if I had three to go to. Well, night. actually, Mama's got... We've got one within ten minutes of us. Or, or fifteen minutes or so. Actually, it's like... Should be fourteen, fifteen minutes. If I drive... <laughs> Don't start I do it in 12. Now. If Mama does it, she does it in 8. I don't do it. I actually drove slow today. I honestly did. How fast did you go, Mama? I didn't go fast. I mean, I need a number. Oh, 50 something. I didn't go 60. Lord, forgive her for telling stories. No, I went slow. They're working on both of those bridges on that old road. And Mama, you went 60 or 65? No. Nope. Oh, I went 50-something. There was cars in front of me. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, I may believe that. Does she not pass? No, I don't pass. So if there was a car in front of her going 50, Mama went 50. <clears throat> if there wasn't, she could be the pace car for NASCAR. She's... Mm. I would like to do that. <laughs> well, I can see you doing that, Mama. I would like to do that. That'd be fun. So if you man from NASCAR's out there, you need a pace car driver. <laughs> I've been looking for her a job, and that would be a good one. Mama, I could get you a job at the Dollar Tree. The new Dollar Tree that's coming to town. You think you're going to get me a job there? Well, I think it would be perfect. You could work there. I wouldn't keep it because... They would fire you. Yeah, I would want to look at stuff more. Mm -hmm. They'd say, Mama, get over here and get busy and quit looking around and say, I'm going to make something out of this. Wouldn't you? Yeah, I could give demonstrations on stuff. <laughs> Folks, I hope you're having a great Friday night. I hope you're doing something fun. I hope you're eating something good. Enjoy yourselves. We have had a wonderful, wonderful weather day today. The skies have been blue. The temperatures have been mid to upper 80s. Wonderful. It's 74 right now. It was 77 at... If uh, it drops a few more degrees, I'm going to have to get out of sweaters and jackets and stuff. Mama... You've never put the sweaters up. I know it. There's I'm, a sweater laying right over here somewhere that you didn't right took off. <laughs> I've had it off. She's going to have to get a sweater. <laughs> you weren't supposed to tell them I had my sweater. She's going to have to get a sweater out. You've had one out all year long. I know it. I get cold easy. Mm-hmm. Well, Mama. Poor little Maggie. I left her today. That's the first time I've left her in months. And went out that long. You did good. I checked on her at lunch. She could could not have cared less. I thought that she would just be crazy. Mm -hmm. And I came home. I had to go wake her up. And I let her out thinking. Mama's not been here all morning to let her out. She'll be... She went out there, laid on the corner of the sidewalk. Our neighbors are having a yard sale across the street. Laid on the sidewalk and watched every move they make, wanting to make sure that she was still queen. She then, done good this morning when they was out there. She didn't bark and take a fit, but now this evening when I come home, she started to bark and cause they up there moving around. We have wonderful neighbors. We love our neighbors. And uh, we have all good neighbors, but oh, uh, yeah. our neighbors that, that live, we are blessed with. We really are. Our neighbors that we live across the street, they're fur baby lovers too. They have their own fur babies. And uh, so we're all just, everybody's out looking for a fur baby, making sure everybody, all, those, all fur babies are doing good. And uh, sometimes if we cook some good, I'll call them and say, come down, get some supper. Because mama don't eat a lot of stuff. Y'all wonder what we do with all the food. Sometimes we divvy it out. 
sometimes we eat it for three days and sometimes I eat it for lunch. You share it with girls sometimes. Sometimes. So they want, they're usually trying to be good. I'm full and I'm not going to eat all mine. I'm full too. Well, I didn't eat lunch to kind of late. All I had. What'd you have for lunch? A piece of light bread and a half a piece of bologna. <laughs> Why? Huh? I was tired and hungry, and it was You had no tomato, no... You just had a fold over, just a piece of bread and a piece of bologna? Mm-hmm. It was good. Mama, you could have had a tomato sandwich on yeah. light bread with a piece of bologna. Yeah. I didn't want that. I just ate... Did you have extra good bologna or something? I just bought some at the deli. Oh! <laughs> Fresh, fresh. Mama went to Riverside while she was out. Mm -hmm. Riverside has got delicious deli meats. Their Cajun turkey is the best, and I've tried several. Their Cajun turkey has got Cajun all the way through it. You can buy it at the, at the big store. You can buy it at other places, and it's Cajun on the outside. But when you slice into it, you just got turkey. Theirs has got streaks of Cajun all through it. I don't know how they do it. I don't ask questions. I just enjoy the turkey. I got you a whole pound of that to eat on. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. We might not have had crunch wraps and I had I known that, folks. We might have had Cajun sandwiches with tomato. <laughs> That'll be tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I don't know. What are you going to cook tomorrow, Mama? We're going to eat sandwich meat. I thought yeah, ham and bologna and Cajun turkey and... Kobe cheese and American cheese. Was you hungry when you were shopping? Yeah. I was stocking up while I was there <laughs> getting it to you. I can tell when Mama goes to the store hungry. <laughs> if she's not hungry, she'll come back with the regulars. And, um, <laughs> you know it's the truth. <laughs> if she comes back with three, four, five, eight things that she's never bought before, <laughs> I buy that all the time when I go down there. Damn. Yeah, you do buy that. The the deli meat. But if she comes like, I've seen this and I just thought I'd try it. And I said, well, well when you're hungry, that stuff just kind of leaps off the shelf at you. Next item them. come out of the back. And these right here, they look good. I said, Mama, <laughs> was you hungry? Yeah. Well, you know, I think I was. I said, well, I see we got a lot of new products because you was hungry. Don't go to the store hungry. It I tell myself that. Makes for a fun shopping trip, though. I'm notorious for needing one little thing. Like yesterday, I ran into Food City because I was on the south side of Campbell County. And I thought, I'll run in here and grab one or two little things. Really, I even debated when I got to the door, do I even need a buggy? Oh, did he ever need a buggy? But I got me some more jalapenos. I got... What else did I get, Mama? I got all kinds of little... I, oh, they had a sale on... If you all got a food city, I don't know how... Maybe into today. I hope I can turn you around. They had Dukes buy one, get one free. Dukes man. Did he buy two? How many did you buy of them? I bought at least two. You bought two and got two free, so you got four jars of Dukes. Well, we live in Duke-deprived country. <laughs> Mama, you know, sometimes we have to go without and I thought I'll get four that'd be great I too get two if he needs one of something I guarantee he gets two to four whatever it is mama it was buy one get two you didn't want me to buy two leave them no <laughs> we'll use it uh, Yeah, I'll wait we've got it. holidays coming up it, it'll be Christmas for you not we'll need it for casseroles we'll need dukes for um, broccoli casserole if you fix uh, the uh, chicken broccoli bake you'll need some dukes we use a lot of mayonnaise folks we really do mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm guilty as she is I do that kind of stuff do y'all do that do you ever find yourself in the grocery store and you're like who has been shopping with me in this buggy surely I didn't put all this stuff in this buggy I, I see it I think oh, I'm going to try that I'm going to try that I'm going to get that I thought about the green onion dressing while I was in there, so I bought green onions and I bought minced garlic and I had to... Powder, I mean the... No, no garlic powder for me. Chopped. Or minced garlic. Minced garlic, yeah, that's right. Dry. Dry. 
Your daddy, I couldn't take him grocery shopping with me because he would, this looks good, he'd put it in there. I told him when we was first married there for a while, he'd go with me and I told him one day, I said, you can't go shopping with me no more because my grocery bill's twice as high if you go with me. Now mama, <laughs> if we were in a court of law yeah. right now. Oh, court of law. Okay. And I was a judge. Mm -hmm. I might question your evidence. Oh, he was bad. Little cocktail, cocktail wieners. Oh, I like to eat snack on these. I like this and I like that. I'd like to present one body of evidence. Uh, we'll call it A. Oh, don't start on the little Debbie case. <laughs> For 10, 15 years, Dad was a diabetic. And I'd say, Mama, why on earth are you bringing in oatmeal cream pies in these Little Debbie cakes? Well, your daddy wants them, and I ain't going to tell him did. no. I said, well, just pick one. You don't have to bring this and this. You should have like three Little Debbie cake boxes. Mama, I you picked all the ones I liked. <laughs> I'd come over here, I would tell her, she said, now he wants them, and I'm not going to tell him no. I thought, I hear you tell him no all the time, Mama. No, you can't have that. No, don't do that. No, you can't drink that much. You have to. I was just helping him. Well, Dad passed away five years ago, and he's still <laughs> asking for them little teddies because they still show up here. I don't buy them. No, you don't. You're I don't buy them because they ain't no sense bringing in temptation. But he still wants them, and Mama still hates to tell him no. Yeah, I do still hate to tell him no. I said, Mama, I, I ain't going to try to be accusing you or nothing, but I kind of think maybe it was you that was bringing <laughs> that wanted little Debbie's. I have to give you credit, Mama. You've really, really laid off on them. I don't even know if there's a little Debbie in this house. Probably in your bedroom, in your nightstand drawer, <laughs> but not... <laughs> I have to keep something in there in case my blood sugar drops. <laughs> now I'm going to tell you, you Gen Xers out there that may be dealing with the mother, father, aunt, someone who's a diabetic. We're coming up on a very serious, crucial season. Uh, Halloween candy's out. Oh, it's already out. I can look to do it. I didn't buy no candy. And you know those little fun size fun size candies they make a distinct rattling noise in case you don't know so like if some of your family's hoarded up some in their drawer in their nightstand you can hear them opening them up at night and I said mama is there a rat in your bedroom yes there is <laughs> you want me to come in there and kill it no I do not <laughs> it was a big rat and it would be a fun size candy get opened that I could hear. There ain't enough in fun size candy now oh, to holler, put in a cavity in your tooth. <laughs> Mama, there's quite a bit of sugar in them. They ain't that big no more. They really need to reanalyze their idea of fun size. I mean, they ought to call them grin size because that's about all they're worth is a little grin. They ain't worth no fun. Sad size. <laughs> Sad, size. <laughs> Sad size. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah. Well, you take one bite and it's gone and you're sad and wanting some more. Y'all know the big Tupperware boat we sell. The big one. The big orange one. I like to fill it up. For how we long. may have six trick-or-treaters here. We live rural. Uh, very rural. <laughs> very rural area. We may have five, and if it's a cold, rainy night, we may not have none. But I guarantee you, at this house, that bowl will be full of fun-sized candy come Halloween. And you got to get all kinds, because you've got little kids that don't need nuts, and you've got some that needs the soft and so I like to buy several of all of them, give them a handful of it. But they don't show up, Mama. They're not here. 
You really don't need But you can't take a change and not have it for them. <laughs> it's this big. Full. So, all the little kids get all they can handle that do show up, and then I bag it up and take it to church. Mm -hmm. And Mama cries and says, I didn't want you to give all my candy away. No, I didn't. I don't begrudge the kids of getting it, but I, I have to go replenish me some more when you do that. I give you a chance to sneak you some in your bedroom before mm -hmm. I take it. Yeah. I know you're going to do that. Let's go so these people can go to bed. Yes, you, ma'am. You've talked bad enough, um, enough about my bad habits. I'll get it straight in a minute. We're going to go. Before I get a whipping, no whooping. Do you know there's whippings and there's whoopings? You don't want no whoopings. Whoopings is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all have a wonderful, blessed Friday night. Do something fun. Get with your family. Make some memories. <laughs> tell on them or something. Like I have Mama. Mama can tell on me too. I, but uh, anyway, have you some coffee. It's Friday night. I hope you don't have to get up early in the morning. Enjoy the evening. There's a sprig of daylight left. I'm taking this little fur baby out and letting her lay on the sidewalk and claim her domain tonight. I She's... bet it is warm when it starts getting dark. The sidewalk's warm to her. Oh, she'll lay out there in the snow. She don't care. She was laying out there in a puddle of water the other day. when it, after Cool it enough, Mama. She was, that uh, was her sauna. She had to come in and lay on a rug till she dried off, too. You didn't talk harsh to her, did you? Yes, I did. She, that's probably one of those days she yodeled at me when I came home. She was wet. I was on the phone with Bernice, my sister, and she said, what are you doing? I said, she's laying on this rug because she got out there and laid in water. She said, will she stay? I said, oh, yeah, she'll stay. <laughs> she will stay. Wherever you tell her to stay, she'll stay. Mama, it was probably hot, and the water felt good, and she just laid out there a little bit. didn't hurt her. She usually don't touch water, so she must have liked it. Yeah. I bet it wasn't very deep. No, it wasn't deep, but she is wet. My well, mama's telling on her, we gotta go. <laughs> it's my turn. I'm gonna go. <laughs> y'all have a great night. Be blessed, and we'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a great time, and uh, we'll check in with you in the morning, probably, or tomorrow afternoon. Talk to you later. Bye. Good night, mama. Bye bye.